there's a beautiful harvest for breakfast, lunch, whatever. Um, beans, I'm going to let these dry uh, and store them for winter. I'll have them in soups. Um, we've been picking these potatoes because they are flowering, so I've been picking them. Um, if I can find one. Yep, there's a potato there. That's a small one. Oh, that's small. Yep, that'll be good. There's probably a few more I can get on here. Uh, later. I'll get some later. Um, greenhouses are looking really good. We have got a watering system here a little bit. So it's through under here once the roots get deep enough. We have our goud, which is a medicinal one, it's going off. This tomato that um, grew here by itself is uh, flowering. And we have a couple of courgettes, some pumpkins that are going to be growing outside, beside this um, greenhouse. This is a long bean, I've had difficulty getting them to grow. Um, I don't, maybe they don't like the cold, but I've got a few of them growing. Another self-seeded tomato. Um, this is a, it's a New Zealand bean. I want to grow lots of those beans too. And another courgette. Courgette. Um, these are cucumbers. Yeah, three of them. They're growing slowly. Um, that's another different type of pumpkin. We've got three, four, three, yeah, four different types of pumpkin. And there's a couple of pumpkin growing out here, mulched in grass. Um, blueberries are growing good. Raspberries are growing okay. Um, it should be mostly a second crop, but these raspberries are doing good. Got also so second crop of raspberries grows on the new growth this year that's just come out of the ground. So later on I'll get a second crop of them and I've got a few raspberries coming up in that greenhouse so that'll be good. They'll keep longer in there. Got chicken food planted in here and all kinds of uh, and uh, potatoes. Potatoes, the uh, beetroot, garlic, a um, little bit of lettuce, a little bit of um, I think this is a bok choy, um, row of carrots. I'm not sure how these carrots are growing. I haven't checked them, but maybe I could check. <sighs> these are good. So we've got a long row of carrots here, and these are the carrots I've already picked today in here more beetroot we've got some kohlrabi and this here is a way too heavily sown but i could thin that to the chickens there's another row of turnip here the turnip so the carrots the corn is finally starting to grow a late frost did get some of these original ones are planted and then some bugs were eating these. Second lot I planted, but they're doing good. Um, cabbages coming along okay. I might get a cabbage soon. These are huge, these things. Broccolis gave them to the chickens. I'm all broccoli out. I got a rhubarb here. Oh, there's something eating that potato. What eats potato? Figs are coming along nice. Oh, oh that one's falling off. Um, yep, lots of figs. And these are easy, very easy to propagate. So I'll put one here. That is a worm area, but there's worms everywhere. That needs water. Um, Self-seeded 
fruit tree. Um, what, would that, what would that be? Peach, maybe? Um, I've transplanted this. So here we have a fig. I have some mint growing happily. Um, and there's a bean. And another bean here. And another bean here, which will grow up here anyway. So that will have a purpose. Um, this is seeded, so that's good. I'm going to use that seed. I'd say they're ready. I'll let them dry up. And we've got some New Zealand spinach self-seeded in here. Three plants, four plants. One, two, three, four. Oh, here's a fruit tree. I wonder what that is. Or if it'll ever produce any fruit. Um, oh, there's some lettuces. There's some steam needle and stuff. Which looks like it's going to seed. Oh, I have that in tea, in my tea inside. Sting needle, mint, um, maybe a bit of sage, a bit of rosemary, a bit of spearmint, a bit of peppermint. Uh, oh yeah, carrots are good. And more potatoes in here. Um, I'm gonna plant that bay tree in here. Still got enough water, yep. Some more beans in here. Um, here's an apple, it's got fruit on it. There's the fruit. Decent. Um, elderberry for the, um, they'll be ready soon. Month maybe for the chickens so we can make alcohol. Oh, here's a spider's web with something in it. There's a snack in there. See the spider's web? There's the snack. I'm going to leave that there. I'll go the other way. More beans. Another elderberry. Um, there's a few apricots, most fell off, which is disappointing. But there is a few apricots on here that'll ripen up. And there's these uh, stone fruit, hoping they ripen up. Um, plums. Um, another, what do you call this? Oh, my brain. It's brain damaged. Um, hopefully these are ripen up, stone fruit, and we have brassicas underneath. There's a lot of weeds here that I've purposefully left there to grow so I can give it to the chickens, but there's all kinds of brassicas in here, as you can see, there's some grass needs to come out. Dock, if you get stung by the stinging needle, we can put a dock on it and it um, takes away the sting. Plus, if you need it, toilet paper. <laughs> Different type of pumpkin. Growing well. It's going to grow over this compost pile. Here we have some compost. I just gave some to the neighbour. It's come out of the chicken house. Apple tree, no fruit on it. Had so much fruit last year that it, um, it broke. <coughs> Apples on here. Um, We've got probably double the grapes we had last year. It was just loaded, absolutely loaded with grapes. Um, so you just, these growths that come out, you take them off and then energy goes into the fruit. Um, cherry tree, first time we're gonna get some cherries, keep the birds off them. Maybe I hang a dead bird in the cherry tree. I've got a couple of them. This is just a wild plum that decided to grow here. Uh, yep. Bay tree. Here's my um, anti-birds. They don't once they see these dead birds hanging in the tree, um, they don't come and dig up for the worms in the garden. Lemon trees are rocking. Look at these lemons on here. It's just loaded so much that the branches might break. That's all right. So that one's going to be ready next. Growing very well here. Citrus, citrus, citrus. See the little fruit starting to grow. Um, yeah, I had hundreds of these lemons in winter, so that was really good. Happy about that. Um, oh, yeah, and the 
those blackberries are going off. These will be ready first, I believe. They are going off. Look at them. Just look at that. Mm -mm. Easy to pick. Yep. Blackberries going off. More. It just takes a while to pick them. When they're when they're in harvesting, you get a whole large bowl of them. Um, yep. So, oh, it's like a greenhouse. It's a mess, but um, walk over this second greenhouse. <clears throat> so, more courgettes. Chickens love them as well. Um, this has gone to see this um, daikon radish. That's a big one, huh? And there's lots of seed starting to dry on this. When it's dry, I'll take it. Um, we had thousands of these in here. I keep pulling them out and giving them to the chickens. In a small area. Um, so I have got strawberries in here. These ones grew and growing successfully. I planted them too late, I think. And uh, didn't quite work. How I stored them didn't quite work either. But I had, I had thousands of these plants and now I've got a few growing really well in here. It's good. Raspberries are going to grow in here. Another pumpkin over here. Um, oregano is growing mad. Um, the seed can come in. That's a kale. It's a kale. Yep. Oh, these are onions. A couple of rows of onions in here, a little bit. Asparagus is growing nice. I've been eating quite a bit of that. Some over here. And there's an asparagus. Four or five areas I've got asparagus. Um, there's another fruit tree down there that has a decent amount of fruit. This year. And I'm gonna go and enjoy my potatoes, my carrots, my eggs, my greens.